Let's talk about our favorite part of school for a moment, tests. Taking tests and assessments are easily the worst part of a student's academic journey. However, test taking is a large part of academic assessment, and so we have to do it. Now, a benefit of tracking a student's test scores is the ability to observe academic performance over time. This can help a teacher adjust their teaching methods and give specific support to improve learning. However, if we can't properly track a student's grades over time, this becomes impossible. There are a thousand ways teachers can keep track of grades, but let me show you one way and the only way you need to track grades using Notion. Okay, so this is how you can track grades effectively using Notion. This is a grading template that I put together, which you can download for free in the description down below. Uh, it's pretty simple how it works. We have a database for grade topics. So in this example here, I have English quizzes, geometry test, physics lab, ancient history, weekly quizzes. Uh, but you could essentially use grade topics for anything. We also have a database for all of the grades, and these grades will be tagged to a grade topic. And then finally, we have a student list, which all of the grades will be tagged to. Now, how a grade works in Notion is pretty simple. You can create a new grade by coming over to the quick actions here and clicking on new grade. You could then give it a, a name. So we could call it maybe quiz number one. You then assign a total score. So maybe we'll say 20. You then give it a score. So whatever the student received, let's just say 16 for this example. And then we can tag the student who received the grade. So let's just click on uh, Benjamin for this example. And then we can give it a grade topic. Let's say our quiz number one is for our weekly quizzes. And so I can click this here. I'll show you what grade topics are a little later, but essentially grade topics are a way to group uh, many grades together. Then if we come over to Benjamin's profile, we can see that quiz number one will show up here. Now entering one grade is all pretty standard, but what if we have many grades to enter all at once? In my case, I have around 100 students who do a 10-minute vocabulary test every single week. Well, that's a lot of grades to enter. And so Notion makes this very easy uh, with a special property called buttons. By having an add grade button property in the student database, we can quickly customize the button settings and then quickly go down our student list, adding a grade to every student. And so let me demonstrate what this will look like. The first step to creating a lot of grades very quickly is to create a grade topic. So let's come up here and we'll go over to grade topics and we're gonna click on new. Let's call this end of month quiz. And then we'll give it a color, let's say red. Okay, now the next step is to adjust the button settings on the student database here. So if we come into new grade and we click on edit property, this is where we can edit the button automation. Here, there are only three things we must change. Let me try and zoom in here so we can see this a bit better. Uh, here we have the name, so let's call this end of month quiz, and we'll call it maybe number one. The second thing we need to change is the grade topic. So we'll come over here, we'll deselect weekly quiz and we'll click on end of month quiz. And then the last thing we need to do is give it the total score. Since it's the end of the month, let's say it's a really fat quiz and we'll give it a hundred. Great, and then we can close out the button settings here. The next step is to, uh, well, assign the grade to the students who will be taking this test. In this template here, I have a database view where we can view students by their individual classes. And so let's go to E6 low and let's say this class specifically is now taking this end of year quiz. And so I will go down the student list clicking on the new grade button. There we go. And so I click the button once for each of these five students. Just for demonstration, maybe our E6 low level is also taking this quiz. One, two, three, four. Okay, then we can come back up to grade topics and we can click on our end of month quiz. And then let's full screen this here. 
And now we can see here nine versions of our end of month quiz have appeared, one for each student that we have tagged it to. And so the only thing we need to do now is input the scores. Here we can easily click on score and add in the scores in sequential order. We can type them in very quickly, going down the list. And you can see this works uh, incredibly quickly for large lists of students and just as fast as any Excel spreadsheet. You input the score, press enter, do it again. So I have a class that's around uh, 20 to 25 students. Uh, after we finish our 10 minute quiz, I have the students switch and correct each other. And then I will go down the list of students asking uh, for their score and I'll just input it very quickly. It takes a minute or two. Now, if we were to come back to our main page here, we can now take a look at one of our student profiles. Let's click into uh, Benjamin again, and we'll full screen this to get a better look. And now we can see that all of Benjamin's grades appear here. We have the score, the total score. We have a nice progress bar that uh, shows the percentage uh, score for this given assignment, and then the date that it was completed. Now this is where we can start tracking academic performance uh, over time. Uh, having this type of system where you can tag grades to individual students allows you to keep track of their test scores well over time. One additional thing you could do with this template is click into the quiz and add a custom note. Uh, this is more so just for the teacher's reference. Uh, but let's say Benjamin got the best in class, and so we can leave a note saying that best in class. If we close that out, we can see that this little note appears here, and that's just, I think, a little fun. But you could use these notes uh, for anything you wish. Now, I haven't experimented with this much. Uh, during the time of this video, Notion Charts uh, has just released. So I did a little experiment here where you could see the students uh, grades over time, but in more of a, a bar chart. Uh, I will definitely make a video later uh, in more detail on how to use Notion charts properly, uh, but I just thought this looked pretty cool. Okay, one thing I should mention is how this grade bar here is different than these here. Uh, these yellow percentage progress bars are for this specific grade only. So you can see this writing test here is 8 out of 10, and so we get 80%. However, the red grade bar here is a little different. And so this grade bar here, or this total grade score, uh, is calculating all of the total scores from all of the grades here. So this 90.4 is taking this 8, 85, 16, and 99, adding them all together, and then dividing by the total score. So 10, 100, 20, and 100. So you should keep that in mind when trying to create a weighting system for your individual grades. Now, some teachers have asked me to create a type of weighting system that you can apply to the individual grade topics. It is something I have not done yet. Uh, however, it is something I would like to work on in the future. There are a few ways you could go about it, but some of them are a little messy, and I want to take my time creating a type of waiting system that makes sense intuitively to a new Notion user. But for now, this is how I have the overall grade working. It is just essentially uh, an average of all of these added together. Like I said earlier, there is a free version of this template in the description down below. However, if you do have the ultimate teacher planner, you can use this record date here to change uh, the date range for which you would like to observe the student's overall grades. Right now, we are calculating this 90.4 for all of the grades that are between this date range from January 1st to December 31st. But maybe you would just like to see a student's grade for a specific semester. So this is how you would do it. You would uh, change the rec record date here. So maybe let's change this to July 14th to, I don't know, the end of August. We can see here this number has changed here from 90 to 95. That's because some of our assignments here, writing test and essay assignment, the date 
in which these were assigned falls outside of this record date. And so this record date is only considering quiz number one and the end of the month quiz. Uh, again, this is only available if you have the Ultimate Teacher Planner, but this can be really helpful uh, if you would like to just look at grades over a specific date range. Another way to quickly adjust the date range, but for all students at the same time, is you can come over to the date modifier here, click on the little settings arrow, and then change the uh, record date uh, to whatever you'd like. Let's, for this example, just set it to the whole year. There we go. Then we'll click on done. We'll click on set record date. It'll give us a little prompt, making sure that we have changed the record date in the button settings, and then we'll click on continue. What this will do is change the record date for every single student in the student list. Overall, I find this to be an incredibly efficient and effective way of tracking grades. On top of that, you can go to the student profile and nicely see all of their grades at a glance. This is where you can observe academic performance over time. If you enjoyed this tutorial and would like a copy of this template for free, you can check the link in the description down below. Or if you are interested in the complete teaching system, uh, check out the Ultimate Teacher Planner, uh, which is also in the description.